soon. It's Lynn Jett's lacrosse. Our Let's hope for uh, a competitive test. As we just got away, this is a ball. Let's see. I believe that's Brian Cloherty. He spins and shoots wide. So a beautiful afternoon for lacrosse at beautiful Manning Field. Just underway, 11.02 to go in the first period, no score. Every game I've done this year, and I've done three now, there's been a score within the first minute. So Patrick again with a shot underhand. So two shots, on, two shots, one on goal. That's a good sign as uh, the Jets are offense is on the attack. Here comes Winthrop flying downfield. And they set up. And the Jets, excuse me, the uh, Vikings, deliberate in their offense here. Number 33 spins, loses 11, loses the ball, gets it back quickly to the wing. Hard shot, blocked. And tough to pick up here with those, the uh, good block there by Downey. The, uh, the helmets are so bright with the sun. The sun is coming right at us here as it comes across towards the press box here. Tough to pick it, pick up the ball, pick up the numbers, but winter ball just underway. Sunny skies, temperatures in the 60s. Pretty much perfect here. As to the exposition, this is to a wing. Hard shot blocked by the goalie. Owen Downey with a nice block. He tries to connect, but intercepted. It's picked off. And here come the Jets. This is Patrick again. Third shot. This one goes bounces over the goal, but stays with the Jets. So as I mentioned earlier, usually there's a goal scored within the first 30 seconds of a game. Here, we're still scoreless eight and about three and a half minutes. In. It's not the norm. Let's see who has the ball here. Hard shot, but blocked right out in front for a goal. Let's see. That is number two is Patrick Sennett. So Winthrop on the board. That goal comes at 8.04 of the first period. And Brian Clority, I believe, in the faceoff. Let's see. Yep. And let's see who that is. He pulls number 11. Comes away. A 
11, Chris Ferreira. Number three passes out. Now the hard shot blocked by Downey. That was uh, Joe Mahoney, number 23 for Winthrop. I believe that's his. Jet ball. Once again, knocked the, the, the pass from the goalie, was picked off, and here come the, the Vikings. 15 all alone in front. Fifteen for Winthrop. Mm, don't have him. Number three, fakes, passes to the middle, hard shot again by Senate. Number three is Aiden Safumi. He'll bring the ball in, Safumi. As the Jets got the first couple of attacks of the game, but it's been all Winthrop ever since then. Ooh, hits. See who that is, it's down. I believe that's Clority. He got hit square with the ball, and that hurts, and he's limping off. He's using his stick as a crutch. He, block, he blocked it with his body, That's similar to a hockey game where you, you block a puck, and those things hurt just like these balls do. So Clority takes one for the team, and... I believe, let's see who that is. It looks like uh, Tyler Furlong in there for Clarity. We're midway through this, the first period here. Winthrop with a 1 0 lead. This is Sifumi. Lots of space, but blocked nicely. So, defense has been much better today. And here they go on offense. This is, this looks like Liam Donovan. Donovan pushed out. Spins back behind. Cradling the ball, he still has it. Passes off. Back out to Patrick. Patrick looking for a cutter, nobody there. Patrick goes to the goal. Once again, he shot his wide. That's fourth shot for Derek Patrick. Unfortunately, they have two of them on goal, two just missing. So Derek playing well here. So I might have gotten that number wrong because uh, Clarity's back in. Don't it was if it wasn't ooh, right out in front. Almost scores. Might have been uh, 16, Kenneth Perez. That got hurt, that, that took that ball full on. And here comes uh, Mahoney, quickly downfield, setting up. Good defense by the Jets. Here comes Mahoney again. Safumi. They keep him out. Great block by Downey as Mahoney cut right to the goal. That ball was blocked aside and Downey keeping them in it. Jets come in late. Here comes Patrick spinning. Getting around, looking for a pass. Flings it downfield. Let's see, it looks like Winthrop's going to be first to the ball. Nice pass up here to Safumi, and here they come on the attack again. Ooh. Wow, Downey with a beautiful save as he has been nearly flawless. That was point-blank range. He got that one right in the basket. And here comes, here comes Clority on the attack. Jets looking to tie this one up. 
And right back the other way. 315. And Winthrop picks it up nicely off the ground. Spinning, spinning, Jets. Excuse me, the Vikings. Number 19, right in front of the goal, but couldn't put it in. That uh, was Conlon Peterson. Cut right in front of the goal. And this will go back to the Jets. This is Tyler Furlong. Flings it downfield, but probably... Let's see, and it goes out of bounds back to the Vikings. That's been their weakness here. There's, they've, the Jets have played nice defense around the goal, but their, their passes to midfield have all been almost all been picked off by Winthrop, and they just start another attack. They haven't been able to connect with someone in the middle. This is Mahoney. Gets around several defenders, puts it in front. Safumi. Nice block. That was no more than five feet from the goal, and Donnie was able to block it aside. Ball comes back to the Jets. As they're hanging in there, they were beaten badly in Winthrop, I believe, two weeks ago. But this is a different Jets team so far, especially defensively, holding the vaunted Viking offense to one goal as we approach a minute and a half here in the first period. And here come the Vikings with the exception of that first minute or so of the game, it's been all Vikings on offense. As Number 30 for the Jets, flings it out, and he, let's see who's got this. That was Perez, got it, the stick knocked out of his hand. Back to the Vikings, and here they come. All alone, nice pass in front. Blocked, right, he was right on the doorstep. Blocked by, blocked by Downey again. Owen Downey keeping the Jets in this game, and here they come again. Sifumi. Knocked off the ball. This is Ifufa. Can't get it out, though. Right back. We got a hard tackle there by Owen Hemingway. So 30 seconds left in the first period. Clock running. Here come the Vikings. This is Mahoney. Once again, Sifumi not able to convert. And the Jets on the attack. 10 seconds, but the Vikings get it right back. Clock ticking down. Shot is wide. And... That'll probably do it for this first half, first quarter. One tenth of a second on the clock. So the Jets with a strong first quarter defensively, and they're right in this game. At the end of one period, it's the Vikings one and the Jets nothing. Just about to start quarter two here at Manning Field, and it's a game. A tight one nothing contest. Uh, the Vikings have been have dominated, and the Jets goalie Owen Downey has kept those balls out of the goal. Jets had all of their offense has come from Derek Patrick. He's I think he's got four shots, two of them on goal. I believe they're the only shots on goal for him. And here comes Patrick again. Derek comes back out. 
looking, he's trying to get around that defender, knocked away from him by Chris Rodriguez. Patrick. Wow, timeout called. Looked like Patrick was cutting to the to the goal. Head coach for the Jets, Peter Papagenopoulos. Assistant coach is Eric Helmer. And they Jets called timeout here for Winthrop. It's uh their head coach is Brian Donnelly. And told me the assistant coach I can't remember now. I think I think it might be Rick. No, I don't remember his last name. But head coach is Brian Donnelly and uh Vikings, one of the strongest teams in the conference. With only one loss so far, and I believe that was out of conference. So the difference so far which is just one goal so far in, and we're into the second period. The Jets, as Winthrop comes back out on the field, the, the biggest issue seems for the Jets right now is connecting from their defense, connecting to midfield. That's where the Vikings have intercepted the ball and started their offense most of the afternoon at least so far so jets ball just underway 11:26 to go in the second period and that sun is shining right at us here in the press box it's making it really tough to pick brilliant sunny day today which is nice but I guess when I'm used to the cloudy weather here, easier to pick things up. So here we go, um, behind the goal. This is, I believe that's Sam Ennis. Yep, Ennis likes that spin move, but he's got three defenders on him, gets around him. Oh, the little bunny couldn't put it in. Jet's trying to... Both team, neither team able to pick it up. Finally, let's see who's got it now. Picked up by, Vi by the Vikings, and here they come, downfield. This is Austin Denyo. And quickly a goal. Senate, Patrick Senate. As the Jets went from a near miss goal. Two, the two, and the, the size advantage is to the Jets, but that doesn't seem to really translate in terms of these face-offs. It might be easier for the shorter player to get underneath and pull the ball out as they get ready. Once again, the Vikings with the ball, but picked up, almost picked up. We have a scrum. Vikings have it right to the goal. And it's a hat trick for Senate. So off the faceoff, number two, Patrick Senate comes in, scoops it up, and all alone for his third goal, and second in about, in less than a minute. So, the Jets looking to stay in in the face of that uh, offensive pressure from, from Winthrop. Be nice to win one of these face-offs. Once again, taken by Winthrop, but they can't it just pushing it, rolling it along the end. Can't pick it up. Picked up quickly by number six, all alone. 
Little wide. Face off for Winthrop is number 11 is Chris Ferreira. And for the Jets, it's uh, Brian Clority. Spin move and blocked nicely by Downey. Jets with the ball back to the goaltender. Pass downfield. See if they can connect. Once again, it's Winthrop intercepting and starting on the attack. This is Rodriguez. Nice block, point blank shot from about five feet away, blocked by Downey. That was by Hurley, but the Jets, I have the Winthrop with the ball once again. Senate looking for his fourth goal, blocked by Downey, and he's being harassed. And they call interference, so the Jets keep the ball, interfering with the goalie. Let's see who has the ball now. Looks like Clority. Brian Clorty will start at midfield. Jets could use a goal here, or at least some offensive firepower. Just to take the pressure off the defense and especially off their goalie. Clorty assessing the situation begins hard underhand shot. Goes wide. Jets ball. Ennis looking for a seam. Steps back again. Almost loses it. He gets pushed off. Moves in. Oh, nice block as Ennis with that spin move. It was like a jump shot. Blocked nicely. Good opportunity for the Jets. Number 20 for Winthrop. Quickly downfield. Mahoney from 10 feet away. Warded off by Downey. Owen Downey, MVP for the Jets so far. Keeping them in the game. Trail 3-0. Pass inside. Nice block by the Jets. Florio. And they keep the ball. Keep your eye on number two. He's their scorer. Clority. Coming down the sideline. A big player. He's hard to body off the off the off the ball. Clarity holds his stick, waiting for somebody. Maybe looking for a pick. And let's see what they call that. Uh, that'll stay with the. Yes, yeah, stays with the Jets. This is Ennis in the X position behind the goal. Almost scored his last time. That shot a little too sharp an angle goes by the goal, but Jets maintain possession. Scoreboard. Still in this game. Sam Ennis, a 
on the far sideline, spinning, looking for us, looking for some space, knocked away. Both teams fighting. Osorio picks it up. And here they go. This is Rodriguez. Pass right out in front, and the shot is wide. That was Hurley with the point blank shot, but couldn't convert. Winthrop keeps the ball. Passes back out to Ferreira. Jets have played good defense so far. But they have no answer. Senate. He's goal third of this period. That one, once again, it was a nice pass. He got around. Don't know which player that was for Winthrop. Got around his defender. Dished it off to Senate. It was wide open. Just to the side of the goal. And he just dropped it in. Four goals. The hat trick in this period, he's got all four for Winthrop. Almost picked up by Derek Payne. Able to do it. Now the Jets have it. Lose it. in big man in the middle good move and all of a sudden winter starting to flex their muscles here Should be five. The scoreboard says on, there it is. Five nothing as we came in here to the second. When it was by Senate. Picked up by Ferrero, wins the face off. I think won this afternoon. This is Mahoney in the middle. All alone. Nice block though. Once again, early. number 15 for Winthrop was able to cut in unguarded, and Downey was able to block that shot. Save a goal. This is Mahoney. They know. That's but just off target. We're looking to set something up here. Here comes a Fufa on the field, right in the center. Murdy a Fufa. And the Jets. Has Patrick all the way around, and he replaces uh, Ennis. Gets right out in front, but the ball is knocked away. Good defense by Winter, because Patrick came all the way around, but had the ball knocked out of the basket. This is Ferreira. Three minutes to go. Winter. on the uh, and Winthrop starting to take control of this game the 
Brian Clorty towers over his opponent, but in the face of you got to dig it out from from the turf and this time the Jets pick it up though Afufa has it knocked away neither team able to pick it up off the ground and here come the Jets So now it's the show. It's the Sifumi show. He's got a half in this period. The last three goals. Penalty flag down. Let's see what the call is. So the, the Jet defense is siege and they just stay going down the period they play Looks like Cloherty might want to give up the uh, face-off duty for a little for a little while here. Let's see. <laughs> Nobody wants to take it though. Well, I guess they called. I guess there was a penalty called there. I'm not sure what it was, but so Winthrop Ball just scored. One player missing for the Jets. Jack Gallant, one of their keys, not on the field. Ball's knocked away. Downey throws it down, just flings it downfield. One goalie to the other and right back. And here they come. Quick pass to midfield and it's the Vikings again on offense. Sifumi with the last three goals, Senate with the four before that. This looks like Senate with the ball now. Nope, Ferreira. Oh, a nice pass right in front. Senate all over. Half. Half time. For the Jets, Jack Gallant, 15, don't know. He's a key player for them, and he hasn't been on the field so far. So a familiar sight, David and Goliath, center field. Number 11, Chris Ferrara. Number 18, Brian Clarity for the Jets. Jets, but not quite. That was Jared Bennett for the Jets. But here they come. Here come the, here come the Vikings. And I'm hearing the Jets overhead. So we heard that loud and clear up here. 44 seconds, 42.7 to be exact as the clock runs. That was... <laughs> Unbelievable. Just cut in front for an easy goal. And it's Winthrop rolling now. So eight of the nine goals scored here in the second period. 
29.8 seconds left. Clority trying to solve this one. This face-off dilemma. Clarity wins this one, picks it up. Let's see if the Jets can get on the board here. Just wide. That was uh, Liam Donovan. Nice pass from Clarity to Donovan. Shot went wide. Jets looking to get on the board before halftime. And it's Winthrop, I should say, Senate and Safumi on top of the Jets by scoring nine to nothing at the end of one half, and we'll take a short break. So we're just about ready to start the second half. It was a nightmarish second period for the Jets as Winthrop thumped them eight nothing. It was a contest through one, but Winthrop got that offense going and. They were pretty much unstoppable. Most of the goals, Downey didn't have a chance. And here comes Winter picking up where they left off. Behind the goal, that's Hurley behind the goal. Hurley had three point blank shots. That Downey, one or two Downey was able to block and one I think just went wide. Only two players from Winter have scored, but they scored nine goals. That's six by Senate and three by Safumi. The Jets have had a couple of opportunities, mostly by Derek Patrick. S Sam Ennis and Brian Clarity able to get in, but not really. They didn't really have room to, to shoot. So the Jets fighting for the ball. See if they can pick it up. Nope. That was Jared Bennett. Nobody, they just rolling that ball down the field. Not easy to pick it up off the ground. This time, let's see who has it. Looks like Patrick. And we're going to have a foul here. I believe maybe slashing. Patrick keeps the ball. Spins, keeps the ball. But, and spins and shot is wide. Let's see. Let's hear what the ref says. So that was Rodriguez off for slashing. Rodriguez, that would be number six, Chris Rodriguez. So the Jets with a chance here, man up. Just underway, less than a minute into the second half and first penalty of the game or first penalty that resulted in a player being sent to the sideline. So the Jets, let's see what the Jets can do here. They've got six to the Vikings, five. But it's the Vikings with the ball. This is their goalie. Number seven, haven't called his name much. Let's see. I don't even see him on, I don't see him on the roster here even. There might be a backup goalie possible. So Senate with the ball. He's got six goals already. I'm sure he'd like to add one more to it. Vikings in no hurry here as they are down a man. Number nine is Ari Hain. Ari Hain. And it'll be the Jets ball here. Let's see who brings it. That was Perez, throws it. Up for grabs. But grabbed by Brian Clority, and he chugs downfield, pulls back up. And he'll 
Look for somebody to pass through. Clarity goes to the middle. Hard underhand for a goal as Brian Clarity on the scoreboard as he spun to his left and We hear the uh, Jets coaches yelling out plays. Blue, green, blue, green. But that's no idea what any of that means. Hopefully the players do. That shot is blocked by Downey, but the Jets keep it. The Vikings keep it, excuse me. This is Hurley. Picks it up. Unmarked. Now behind the goal to Sifumi. Almost gets knocked down. This is Kenneth Perez all over him. Huge size advantage for Perez. But Safumi has the edge and quickness. And this is Mahoney. Senate back to Mahoney. Looking for an opening. Mahoney, good defense. Here comes Senate. Make it seven goals. At the 846 point here in the third period, that's Patrick Sennett. He's got 70% of their goals. Meridi Afufa at midfield, waiting for the faceoff to begin. And here they come. Afufa, Mahoney picked up, kicked. Neither team able to really pick this one up. Ferrara, nope. And finally, they come away with it. That's uh, Chris Rodriguez, who was just uh, penalized a couple minutes ago, he's back on the field. And Safumi all alone. No one picks him up at all. Downey with a nice block. He was completely unguarded that time. Good play by Owen Downey on a hard, low shot. Stick to the side. Here comes Hurley back to <laughs> Safumi. It's like target practice here as no one's picking him up. He's already got... A hat trick, three goals, looking for another. Someone's got to get on him. Here comes Hurley. He's bodied off the play by Perez. Good defense. And then Hemingway with a poke check. Here comes Safumi. That time there's some defense on him. Good. This is Tyler Furlong. What's the call here? like the Jets are a man down now. This is Safumi to Hurley behind the goal. Back out to Safumi. He works it out to Mahoney. Back, give and go. Nice block that time by Clority. Hit the stick and deflected the ball. Clock ticking, 7.30 to go. Third period, Manning Field. Jets home against the Winthrop Vikings. Mahoney, nice pass inside. Beautiful pass. 
As that looks like Hurley finally got on the scoreboard. Let's see. Yep. He's been close. Nice play as Mahoney faked the shot, passed to a cutting teammate, and easy pickings. So the Jets finally, Brian Clority finally breaks, breaks through, and the Jets get on the scoreboard, but Winter quickly comes back. And that should be 11, I believe, although the scoreboard still says 10. Sunny afternoon, looks like maybe the scoreboard operator is taking a little siesta in there because that board has not changed. Unless they, well, they're fa facing off, so that goal must have counted. Ball comes back to the Vikings. Ferreira turns back. Good defense. Stick the side nicely as Safumi with the attempt. Owen down, he will sleep well tonight. He's had many, many shots on goal here. Safumi. Hurley, nice defense there by Perez as he bodied him off. Mahoney. Caught by Downey. Nice pass that time. He hit Cloherty in mid-stride. Here comes Brian Cloherty. Spinning. Looking for a shot. He's got a hard one. But that one bounces over the goal. Cloherty looking for a second goal of the afternoon. As we're approaching the midway point of the third period, and that ball will come back to third. We missed the goal. They have 11. We missed the goal, I think. They, they should have 11. So the Vikings getting set up here. And long pass down to our buddy, Aiden Safumi. Perez calling out. He has. He's guarding him. And Senate on the other side. We haven't heard much from him. Mahoney to Safumi. Nice block by Downey. Good reflexes. That ball was right at his feet. Hard shot that he blocked away. Ball stays with Winthrop. Comes Hurley. Sifumi. Picks up the ball as the Jets just look tired out there. There's not a lot of movement. They've been, they've been out on that field a long time. Not hot, but the sun has been shining. And they've, they've had to face a lot of... Offensive weapons here. He's still playing hard. Number four back out. That's Julian Osorio. Mahoney. Here comes Osorio. Backhand. Nope. Jets ball. Long pass downfield, once again, taken by Winthrop. Nice pass, but, yep, number six. This is uh, Rodriguez, back to Senate. They're gonna set up, hard shot, blocked. 
Here comes Clardy on the far side. He's being chased by two defenders. Looking. Someone's got to be open. Clardy gets around him, though. And his shot goes wide. Ended shot that time. And Clardy will take a breather. Let's see who comes in for him. Patrick back on. Cuts. Nice play by Derek. But the ball knocked out of the, of the basket. And back to Winthrop as Patrick cut to the goal. Number six. Uh, Chris Rodriguez takes it all the way down. Can't handle it. Osorio can't handle it, but Mahoney with the ball. As that pressure is relentless, back out. Senate spins. Good defense. Bounces it back out, though, all the way to midfield. And let's see. They leave it for Mahoney. To the, the Jet and the Viking face off and leave the ball to Mahoney. Number 22, that is Stephen Downey. Once again, that ball on the ground. Picked up by Safumi, all alone as he moves towards the goal. Right behind it to Hurley, back out. Safumi looking for a crease. This time it's Ferrara at the point. Hurley right in front. Good kick save by Downey. Nice, very nice play by Downey. Looked like a hockey save there. Quick pass out to Patrick. Here comes Derek. He's tough to stop once he gets, once he gets a load of steam. Whoa, and he's tripped. No call though. Patrick keeps going, no call, and now it is. Let's see what we got. So we got a tripping call on number 24. I don't have him on the roster, but he's got So the Jets, late with, well, 2.45 left here in the third quarter, will go a man up. Let's see if they can convert. Pretty obvious trip there as Patrick was taken down. Patrick throws it wide. Looking to set something up and capitalize. This is Downey, right out in front of the goal with the white helmet. Now they reverse positions and Clority behind to Liam Donovan. Donovan, they switch positions now. Donovan with a long shot from 25 yard line. Stays with the Jets. All back in play. This is Clarity. Pulls it back out. Looking for that open man. There has to be one because they've got the extra man here. Gets it back to Downey. Number eight, that's Chris Marenko. Underhand. The underhand shot goes wild. <laughs> Playing the exposition. <laughs> but the Jets lose it, lose the opportunity and they throw it away. And I believe we're back at full strength. So, chance there, but couldn't capitalize. And here come, here come, here comes Winthrop. This is Ferrara, who's been their face-off man all afternoon. Means he's been out there 12 times, scores 11-1, right out in front. 
Nice block by Downey as he stops uh, Safumi right in, in his face, right at the doorstep. Beautiful play by Downey. He's keeping uh, the Jets. I can't say they're in this game, but he's making it somewhat respectable. Safumi again. Yes, he's by Flores. Pulls up, thought about shooting, but pulled it back out. Senate retrieves it on the far side. His pass back to me. As Winter Player falls down. See if the Jets can mount an attack here. Here comes, they can't pick it up though. This is Stephen Downey, uh, and the ball is knocked loose, and that'll probably do it as Winthrop, neither team able to really get control. That's the clock, two, one, and that'll do it for the third quarter as uh, it was only Winthrop, only outscored the Jets by, by two to one, but they were up nine to one or 2 nothing. excuse me, they outscored him 2 nothing. So it's at the end of three complete, it's uh, the Vikings 11 and the Jets 1. A familiar sight there, it's number 18 for the Jets, Brian Cloherty, number 11 for the Vikings. That's Aiden Ferreira. Is that Aiden Ferreira? Chris Ferreira, excuse me. as we get ready for the fourth and final quarter here. Sunny Manning Field here in Lynn. This is the home field of the Jets. And here comes Brian Clorty, pretty much unmarked. He gets it over to uh, Donovan. Hard shot is sticked away. But the Jets stay on the attack as Clorty keeps the ball. He's being, no, this is Perez, Kenneth Perez. Passes to Clark, he can't handle it, and the Vikings take over. Home field of the Lynn Jets, which is Lynn Classical, Lynn English, and Lynn Tech, the three schools team up. And you can see just in the, not just the score, as Joe Mahoney cuts to the... Beyond the score, just the skill level of the players, Winthrop has a uh, strong youth lacrosse program, and it almost takes that. In Lynn, this is a fairly new sport to Lynn, to Lynn high schools, and they don't have the participation that some of these other schools have, so it takes the three schools together to put together a team, and even then, they're shorthanded. Their, their team is much smaller than, than Winthrop or any of these other schools. And they just get worn down. You see the same players for Lynn are out there most of the game. And Mahoney, right to the goal. Nice passing. That was Mahoney to Senate to Hurley. Mahoney to Senate to Hurley. And it's all Vikings, but the Jets were right in there through the first period, and but they just got worn down. And now they're up against, well, the Vikings still have most of their starters in there. A couple of substitutions, maybe. But for the Jets, they have a much smaller roster, not as many reinforcements, and that takes its toll, especially in the second half. As the Vikings pick up all the loose balls, or as they say in uh, the NBA these days, all the 50-50 balls that could go to either team go to the Vikings. Here comes Derek Patrick still playing hard, and he gets tripped down the sideline. Second time. 
I don't know. It looked like an inadvertent trip, but it, Patrick took a hard tumble there. And that, that can give you a bad burn on this the turf burn. So Derek will probably be limping this evening. I actually have Derek in my class over at Lynn English, my television production class, and I'll probably see him limping around tomorrow. But hustling down the sideline, and he got taken out by Winthrop Defender. So that was Julian Osorio who clipped, clipped his heels, and Patrick went tumbling. So the Jets man up here at the 8.30 mark of the, f of the fourth quarter, still looking to score some goals. Clority with a hard underhand skip shot goes wide. That player gets knocked over here. Let's see what the call is there. No, no call. Let's see who that was. I think that was Steven Down. He just got flattened. Jets ball. Liam Donovan. Shot goes wide. You can see with the Jets, when they get a man near the goal, they're going to fire that ball. Whereas with Winthrop, they just, they're very patient, passing, passing, passing until they get a wide open man in front. That time, nice play by the Jets, but that ball was blocked nicely by Winthrop. And this right here has, couldn't handle the ball this time. That was on Rodriguez there. Nice pass, though, from the goalie to him. He just mishandled it. Chris Marenko inbounding. Six thirty to go, just about midway through this final quarter. Marenko. Passes to... Let's see who that is. is that, I think that's Tyler Furlong. Grabbed away by Winthrop, though, and here comes Senate. He's got a wide open man there. That's Mahoney. Send it to Mahoney. The law firm delivers again. Senate, Mahoney. Senator Mahoney. At this point in the game, with five minutes left, I might be the only one noticing that once again, they didn't tally that score because this game has been over for a while. I'm not sure that the players who take down by the Jets or even the coaches are paying much attention to that, but I'm supposed to. And this is Murdy Ifufa. Poke check, but he hangs on to the ball, finally knocked away. No, I'm sorry, that was, that's, that's Angel number 21. I think we just have him listed as Angel. Oh, Juden's Prosper. Juden's has a sister, older sister. I think she's a senior who I also had in my class named Judeny. And I thought that was her. I saw her the other day. I said, are you playing lacrosse? And she said, no, that's my brother Juden's. Ooh, a hard poke check, 
and picked up nicely and here comes who's this number 20 I haven't seen him in the game in there right now oh that's James Silva <sighs> hard hit hard hit on Rodriguez he loses his stick but good sportsmanship is Hemingway hands him Owen Hemingway hands him the stick back and then uh, Downey comes over and pats him on the head Good sportsmanship by the Jets there. Even trailing badly, but not letting their temper or frustration get the better of them. That's a good sign. This is Senate. Picked up by Ferreira. Jets just, they, uh, excuse me, the Vikings just taking their time. Nice pass, good defense that time is pulled the ball by Perez. Nope, just too, too strong and right to the goalie. And this is where Winthrop has the big advantage, usually, as they're able to connect and get their offense going quickly, defense to offense. Here they go. A little spin move or a dodge, I guess they call it. Once again, Safumi putting on a little show. Back out to Senate. Spins the, spins the stick. But Downey with the save, and here comes Brian Clority. He'll sleep well tonight. Back and forth all afternoon. He throws it behind the goal. Let's see who's got it. This is Ennis looking for a, hit, looking for a goal here late, but it's knocked away. Here comes Silva looking for a goal. Just wide. And you can hear the Winthrop, his Winthrop teammates are pulling for him. Still, still going for it. Blocked by Downey. Nice block by Owen. Hello, just in for Winthrop. Under two minutes to go. Jets still playing hard. Ball's knocked away. If Fufa can't handle it, though, and right back to Mr. Senate. Hurley behind the goal. Senate back out. Over to Mahoney. Can't handle it. Back to the Jets. Let's see if they can put another goal on the board before this one, this game, ticks down. Approaching a minute. This is Ifufa at midfield. Races to the goal. Pass is intercepted. Ifufa again, but couldn't handle it. He was, he had a shot, a chance to score, but couldn't handle the ball. And 40 seconds to go. Here comes Perulo. Blocked away, though, but picked up by Ferrara. Furlong backs off, and Ferrara steps back. This might be the last rush or last attack as Ferrara holds it. To Donahue. Mahoney, excuse me. Senate, and they just going to let that clock tick down and walk off with a 13 I believe it's actually a 14 to 1 win 3, 2, 1 and that'll do it as the Jets lose this one to the Vikings by a score of 14 to 1 for for Winthrop, it was all, in the first half, all Patrick Sennett and uh, Aiden Safumi. They scored all. 
Second half, they had some other players step in. Action. Oh, I mean, this game could have been really, really out of hand early, but Downey making one save after another under severe pressure from the Vikings. So, Jets fall, um, and that'll do it for us here at Manning Field. For my camera people who look like uh, old-time photographers here, it's so bright and sunny, they have, that, they have their jackets over the camera, working through the viewfinders because it's too sunny to see the screen. These guys must have been watched. They're watching their photographic history here, learning how to do this. So that'll do it for my camera people, Cherubin, Musangu, and Javon Dunn. This is Ken Vorsband saying we'll see you next time.